and welcome back to Creative Packaging. In today's video, I'm going to show you how Daniel set up this brand new shrimp tank. Now he has two shrimp tanks and all of the things you see here were provided from flipaquatics.com Rob sent over a magical shrimp package. So let's get started with setting up the tank. Now he sent over a new type of substrate that I've never tried before. This is the Rio Escuro from Brightwell Aquatics and it is made from natural volcanic ash so here he kind of dumped the whole thing he didn't really know how much to put and then realized that for this four gallon aqua top aquarium this is a little much so he started to kind of remove everything and that's usually what happens when you are a beginner you just kind of have to figure things out try things out there really is no perfect way to do things and that is totally okay the best way to improve is through trial and error and practicing so here he set up some rocks as well as some plants that I pulled from my my other aquariums. So these are some of the things you might be familiar with, such as the corkscrew valcinaria, as well as I'm adding some elder cones, as well as some Indian almond leaves that I was using to make tannins for my betta fish. As these botanicals will slowly break down in the aquarium, they will provide a great food source for microorganisms and all sorts of little critters that the shrimp can feed on as shrimp do like to continuously graze. Now these tanks are available on the Flip Aquatics website, so if you actually want to get a rimless tank like this for yourself, you definitely can. I think four gallons will work for either a few shrimp, or maybe it can be a great kind of show tank for your favorite betta. Now the reason that we're filling up the water like this is we don't want to stir up this gravel too much because it will make a mess. If you take a look at everything, we did kind of make the water cloudy, but later on this does clear up. Also the driftwood was kind of floating up, so Daniel weighed it down by putting a rock on top. Now we are also adding a filter cover that has been sitting in another tank for quite a long time, so it has a lot of the beneficial bacteria from another tank, and we're actually going to use that to seed the tank. And and we're adding in the little tiny filter. We've never tried the Aquatop filter, but it's very cute and I actually like it because it is adjustable so you can control the flow and we use the Fritz Guard as the water conditioner. After that, we just let the tank sit, kind of clear up and get established for about a week. I got a package from Flip Aquatics. I'm so excited. It's gonna probably be shrimp. So let's just open up. Styrofoam. I'm always very curious at how companies package their live animals. So we've got some cool stuff we got. So we have the black water clear with humic substances, which by the way I have to make a video about this because this is really great for bettas and no one really talks about this in the hobby. We got some Ebi Tegu baby shrimp food. I want to start feeding my babies. So I can breed more, so hopefully this will be great and they will love it. I also got a KH and GH test kit because I have never tested my KH, KH and GH before. I've tested everything else, but not this, so it's about time we figure out the exact measurements, I think. Um, what is this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> they, I did not order that part, but uh, they included a Swedish fish. I think that's adorable. I will eat it. Also, the shrimp lollies. I always wanted, I've seen these at Rob's booth all the time, and I've never tried these before for my shrimp, and I really want to. I think they're kind of cool, and definitely want to try them out. So I'll put them right here. We have the shrimp snacks that I definitely want to try as well. These are sticks, and this is in, I, lots of German. Um, it's for ornamental shrimp and crayfish, it's fruit. Um, yeah, alfalfa, parsley, uh, plantain, peas, carrots, apple, nettle, stinging nettle, dandelion, linseed. So this is a cool like supplemental food that I want to try just to give my shrimp some variety. We also have the dried banana leaves which are really cool. I want to actually implement these for my better breeding projects. And then we've got the shrimpies right here. So this is, what, what is in here? Oh, there's more, wait, I think there's more. What is that? Oh, 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 that's my moss ball. I, I got a moss ball. 
he's 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 doing great. He survived the journey. They even wrapped the moss ball pretty well. Moss balls tend to not need a lot though. Here he is. Oh, he's so cute. I want to name him. I don't know why. This whole time, she's just watching me do this and just judging me. What? That's not food. It's it's a moss ball. You can't eat it. I'm sorry. Are you disappointed? I'm sorry. I disappointed you. But last but not least, let's check on the shrimp. Oh my gosh! I hope they made it okay. Um. Dum -da -dum. Da -da -da -dum. One-handed unwrapping. I'm trying to be gentle and not make these shrimp go on a roller coaster. So they're in, oh gosh, oh gosh, I see movement. They're in a breather, breather bag. So this allows them to breathe, get oxygen. So we have, that's a molt, I think. Looks like, yeah, that's a molt. So we've got some blue dreams. I've always wanted some beautiful blue dreams. And they all seem to be doing okay. The water is not that bad. So right now we're going to put them in a container so I can start to acclimate these guys. So off camera I poured the water from the bag into here. Then I removed some of it. This is my water change bucket with some dirty water change water down there. And I set up a drip acclimation process right now so we can get them adjusted to my water parameters as well as the temperature. The water is coming from their new home up here. So it's going all the way down. And I don't know what water Rob at Flip Aquatics has. So just to be on the safe side, I removed some of the old water and now we're dripping the water in. I don't necessarily know if this is a particularly good drip rate. So please don't use this video as a tutorial on how to drip acclimate your shrimp because I'm still very new to hat keeping shrimp so I'm still kind of figuring this out learning as I go so I would definitely recommend uh, looking up tutorials for more experienced keepers and if you have any feedback and think that I can improve on anything please do let me know because I am definitely open to learning more but that's kind of what I have set up I think the drip rate is a little fast, but I do think it might be okay. I tried slowing it down a little bit, but this is not super effective. Oh, I'm sorry I startled you guys. So here is an update on the shrimp. They have been drip acclimating for half an hour already. They're kind of moving around, doing their shrimp things. I think I'm going to do another maybe 10 or 20 minutes, and then I'm going to move them in. because. Their water is already almost half. It's time to release the shrimp into the shrimp tank. They've been acclimated for quite a while. There's still some old water in here, so I'm going to actually catch them with a net and then release them into their new tank. So hopefully I can do this with one hand without startling them too much. Let's see how many I can grab. Let's uh, come on, go in there. Do a jump. Oh my gosh. There you go. Be free. Be hey. Come on. Be free, little shrimp. He's not sure. There you go. So pretty. Let's get this little guy right here. I have to be very gentle. Let them kind of walk on here because I don't want to break any appendages. There you go. Always be gentle with your critters. Let me see if I can scoop up some more. Hey, this one's on the outside of my net. Hey you, what are you doing? come out? I hope so. Be free. Hey guys, come on. 
couple more to go. Might as well get this guy in there. Come on. There you go, good shrimpy. I don't know why I'm talking to them. Positive reinforcement with your shrimp. Come here. Ah. Wait, I don't want the mold. Here we go, come on. Go inside. And that one's like, nope, I'm gonna live in here now. Come on. I'm trying to encourage him by moving this a little. Come on. Really? Please, please exit the transfer vehicle. Hello. Really? Do I have to wait here now? I mean, I will if I have to. Please, please let exit. I guess I'll move it around. I don't want to, like, make him go on a whirlwind. Okay, well, okay. Here and gently use my finger to give him a little nod. There we go. A little motivation. Come on. Come on. There you go. That was way more difficult than it should have been, little guy. But we did it. Now we've got two more left. There's one under, so we can move the net. There we go. Let's see if I can get both. Both at once. Do I get bonus points? Do I get both from? Oh, no. I don't. Going there. See, that one's cooperating. That one is just not really wanting to move anywhere. He's like, I'm just going to hug my little piece of wood. Okay, got this one too. Oh my gosh, someone's jumping. There we go! And we did it. I am in the danger zone right now because he is playing with my feet. And there's a chance he can take a chunk out of my foot. Danger zone with the cat. But let's take a look at how the shrimp are doing. Well, they're starting to eat. That guy's just hanging out right there. Kind of, yeah, they're all kind of eating. This tank has been um, growing a lot of stuff because I got set this up earlier. So as you can see all the fuzzies on the driftwood, that is shrimp food right there, free shrimp food. This guy is deciding to not move anywhere at all, so he's just going to live right there forever, but that's okay. But yeah, they're, just, they're kind of all over the place now. Kind of hanging out. I'm going to let them do their little shrimp activities, and we'll check back on them in a little bit to see how they're doing. <laughs>